Welcome back. Uh, this is the next step to the install that we did with the minimal uh, CentOS 6.5. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go through and check some services, uh, disable some services, and uh, basically kind of open the system up so that we can do some uh, you know neat little things with it, uh, upgrade it. Um, we're going to be disabling the IP tables, which is basically the firewall. I'll also be uh, disabling the SC Linux. Um, so I'll go through those steps, and you can just uh, work along here with me is this and I'll also have it in the notes on the uh, website at uh, info.bing14.net uh, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to uh, check the services and basically you can see here we got uh, you know not that many probably about 12 14 services that are here and the ones that we're interested in is the, uh, the IP6 tables and IP uh, tables themselves and those that's basically the firewall so uh, first thing we do is we're going to do a check config and then uh, IP tables off and that basically turns it off and I can show you real quick um, if you just do a list afterwards uh, everything's in the off uh, selection now if we do it on version 6 You can see that they're on, and then we're going to go back and we're going to say off to this as well. And now it should be off. Um, just because it's turned off here now does not mean they're actually currently off on the system. Um, very similar to like Windows when you have your services within Windows, you can sit there and start and stop. Um, basically, what this does is if this system reboots, IP tables and IP6 tables will not be loaded. Uh, for this, so basically that's all that's done is it's, it's set it up so after reboot. So since they're currently running, we're going to shut those down, and that's just by a, running a command called service. And we'll say stop, and then you can see that they're stopped. That's for version four. This is going to be for version six. So both of the uh, IP tables have been changed on that, so we should be good to go there. I'm just going to clear the screen up a little bit to make it a little bit easier. So we've got the firewall disabled. Next thing we want to do is we want to uh, change the uh, SE Linux and that is in the uh, you're going to VI into it which is basically just a text editor uh, Etsy sysconfig SE Linux here we're going to change this to from enforcing to disabled for that and then next thing we want to do is we actually want to go in and we want to change the uh, name of the system right now it's currently localhost so here we'll change that um, if you know the fully qualified you can put that in as well um, you know, for, for here, uh, I'm not that concerned about it for this time around. Uh, so, so you right click there. And then the next thing that's important is the uh, host file itself, which is the uh, VI Etsy host. And then here, what I like to do, um, I know right now we don't currently have a static IP address, but we can give one to it, or we'll give one to it here in a little bit. Um, but I like to just clean this up, and we will get rid of the and all that stuff so that it looks just like this and uh, this will be in the notes as well so quick right quit and then right now what we're going to do is actually uh, do a, uh, a yum update and it's just finding the uh, fastest mirror It says that there's uh, one to install and four to upgrade, so we're going to say yes to that. Also, looking at this, I can see like the uh, sixth package is the uh, kernel upgrade, um, so it'll have a new kernel. 
And at that point, you should be at the uh, latest and greatest. Once again, I mentioned I'm trying to keep these around five minutes uh, or less, or between five and ten. Um, if this is too small an increment, I can make it longer. Uh, just let me know. Um, but I'm just trying to keep them uh, short, sweet, and to the point, uh, fast, and you know, moving along. And then that way, if you want to skip around, you can skip around and not have to sit there and listen to a whole hour of uh, stuff that you're not really interested in or have, have no desire to listen to. It's just uh, did the updating and did the installing and now it's doing the cleanup and then uh, after that we'll reboot and then we should be uh, rebooting into the, the system that we changed the name in the uh, sysconfig or, or basically I'm sorry in the network uh, part of that so everything looks like it's good it's verified I'm just gonna type in reboot you can do shutdown dash H there, there's multiple uh, Things that you can do uh, to do that, you can you know do shut down uh, the dash n for now, I believe, and then you know like five seconds or whatever. And in five seconds, it'll it'll reboot. Um, power off, I believe, is another one. Uh, but I, I just use reboot, and it works good for me. All right, system should be back up. And uh, what we're gonna do here, since this is in putty, we're just gonna say restart session. Logging as root and the password. Here. And as you can see, the name of the system is now what we called it in the uh, network section there. That's it for this one. Um, we will uh, continue on in the next one. We'll, we'll get into more detail. We'll start giving a static IP address. Um, we'll go in there and uh, make some changes to the host file. Um, and then we'll do some other little uh, neat little, little uh, things to get your system up and running. Thank you for your time. Again, this is uh, Matthew Bingham with uh, Bing14.net. And you can reach most of this information at info.bing14.net. Thank you and please come back.